Tenke Fungurumu in the Katanga, another little masterpiece from this deposit, uh, cobalt and calcite. Actually, uh, uh, to, to, to brighten up any collection, uh, cobalt and calcite is always such a, a bling bling thing, this lovely rich pink. And in this case, you have little botroids of heterogenite, uh, little waxy black botroids. So as is, from an uh, aesthetic sp uh, point of view, very, very appealing, slightly overexposed as we see it. But under magnification, yeah, well, uh, uh, ranks with, with, the <coughs> with the best uh, a magazine quality, if you can actually take close-up shots of certain sections. Uh, from a display point of view, I quite enjoy. Now, what often happens at Tenke is uh, it's almost like the the uh, uh, dolomite is brassiated, so it's it's cracked up, and then uh, <coughs> at some stage it got filled with with this cobalt and calcite, or this calcite uh, uh, solution. Of course, we, we talk about chemistry when we talk about minerals with a high content of cobalt. And funny enough, instead of being blue, it, it's actually pink. So I think maybe chemically cobalt and calcite react to cause pink coloration versus the blue coloration. All the way from Tenke Fungurumu, another masterpiece from this fascinating deposit. And uh, from a display point of view, the, this, this is how I would display it. Quite, quite lovely.